Hello guys and uh, welcome back. So uh, we are just about to get ready with a final bonus round. I know I said all the goodbyes, but keep us from uh, having another game here on our hands. So should be pretty exciting. Everyone's pretty excited. Um, I think there are some teams that had to drop out, unfortunately, because um, I mean, it is a little bit late and we've been going at it since 8.30. But I mean, um, there's still a lot of people who are ready to gun each other down. So that's always good for us. And uh, I think we do have some other new, new teams, new players that are coming in here. So I try to highlight them inside the, the comments in the team list. Um, but yeah, I think just verbally, I think uh, unfortunately, uh, I think Gang FTY had to go. Um, Power Rangers still here, Frostfire, Extense, Infinity, Geek Fam, uh, EN Power, Team FFG still here. Yeah, FFG is still here, squad number 7. Um, MBT, I think, is still here, squad number 8. Um, then we have um, MSK Poseidon, or Team MSK now. I think it name change, it's still here. Um, we have Team Crayon. Instead of Koyak Gaming, they had to go. Uh, we have Team Devils now taking their spot in Team number 11. Uh, Killer Clown had to go as well. They were Team 12. Now it's Awful Squad with uh, Siu Pak Choi in there. You know, fresh coming back from the, the States where he participate in the Broadcaster Royale Duos Tournament. And he managed to qualify for the final day on Sunday. You know, So very epic for him. He got to meet Shroud, everything like that. So really jealous of his experience there. You know, But really congrats to him and um, Awful Squad for being able to, to make it that far you know and really have the experience of a lifetime so we're just about to get ready here uh i think the other teams are still the same but quacker and the pak mama also might not be here it might be another team at the moment but never mind let's just get into the game okay so now looking at the the flight path it's all the way from milta power all the way up to north george here so let's see what these guys decide to do. Um, there are a f very few teams actually dropping right at the start here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the new teams that are in for this round. Geek Fam returning back to prison and uh, the surrounding buildings here. And it looks like it's very unopposed here. So uh, Lipovka will be occupied by this, uh, I think it's Team 15 not mistaken so not sure if it's the same team 15 but um there you have it now mbt deciding to go for the central region um east of school but they are also met by power rangers here power rangers uh in the middle here now you see msk poseidon deciding to go for pachinki here and they're met by um the blue squad here which is frostfire and uh we do also have a uh, squad 16 here six Six gaming, if not mistaken, and then uh, we do have. Uh, I think this is one of the new squads, the the green color squad here. Um, Extends dropping here in the North George area, and Yasnaya. We do have uh, MBT, and it uh, looks as though we have uh, Infinity, Orange, and uh, we have Squad Seven FFG. So um, looking at the circle is quite north, from the looks of it. No, none of the teams really going too far south here. Now uh, it looks incredibly crowded. All the way here in Yasnaya, guys. So it looks as though Dream's able to get the, the first kill onto Frostfire. Krustik also uh, knocking down uh, one of the Devil squad here for Team 11. Um, so now looking at uh, Yasnaya here, we see that uh, Trollolo 2K has managed to get uh, his uh, double barrel shotgun shot to connect with uh, Dick Gina. So Dick Gina goes down awful squad, chalking up a kill there. Now uh, we do have... Uh, in Infinity Gaming on the southeastern part of Yasnaya here. So a little bit separated from all this chaos here. There are four different teams here. Squad number seven, FFG also. So uh, looks like Awful Squad is uh, spread a bit spread out here, but also in a way uh, helping to claim the territory for them. Now, other other places we see that uh, South George is very much the place for uh, Team Crayon. They should be the second team for WTSG at this rate here. Now in uh, Pochinki, there, it is a little bit uh, crowded here. We do have MSK Poseidon um, together with um, Frostfire. 
Sophia and Demon Eater are here. Now, they are also shared with... Um, I'm not sure if it's still Nasi Ayam Sadap. It could be another team. But, um, yeah, I think it's... a. Uh, well, never mind. Let, let's just watch the game, you know, instead of so guys, guessing these things. But if you uh, guys know back. So, uh, who these guys are, we are just are, about then, to get ready uh, with a I'm final bonus round. I know I said all the so, good uh, I'm going to stop that. Um, apologies for that. So, yeah, now we do have the uh, Pochinki area. is a little bit crowded here, but also crowded is uh, the North George area. So, North George currently going to be a lot of... Um, well... I think Extends here has actually dropped here a few times so far. And uh, I think with Devils also being the new squad here, they didn't really know that this is like their town here. So, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yep, sorry. Um, oh, was that six gaming they just got eliminated? Uh, okay, I apologize not being able to catch that. I was trying to deal with some technical issues. Um, so yeah, and uh, Pochinki now is condensed down to two teams. MSK Poseidon has decided to vacate this area here. Now, uh, Sophia and Demon Eater are very much uh, surrounded here. Um, they're going to have to play this one very carefully. Here. Demon Eater seeing a little bit of uh, Holy uh, over on the roof, but not able to catch him a little bit further. Now... Uh, oh, it looks as though that he was caught out by uh, Holy, so uh, that might be the the end for him as uh, Youngwei is already down and Sophia will be the last player left up. Elliot not in for this game, unfortunately, it would seem. Now, oh, BAE Chawei, uh facing some issues here as he stumbles upon uh, squad number six here as they are able to get that knock. But I don't think that the other BAE... Oh, there is another BAE player, Andy BG, driving past here. He's trying to survey the situation and see how safe is it going to be. But uh, Bamcop here, not sealing the deal until just then. So it really is sucking in the additional player from BAE. We're going to put some additional risk onto them. Now, Bamcop is trying to posture around here. Try and catch some sight of NDBG. NDBG, knowing that it's probably futile, he's gonna get into his car and run away here. So, um. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's actually decided just to move to a little bit of a more secure location, and he is putting some shots here with the M16 here, and able to land quite a few on Bangkok, but Bangkok comes over the top and nails him with the M4, so that's really looking uh, quite bad for BAE in this early game here as they lose 50% of their squad strength. In uh, one town alone. Um, now others are undergoing their looting phase here, but we do see that Loki's as well as Imbri um, are actually uh, advancing closer towards the squad six location here. So not willing to give up just yet here as uh, Loki's comes to move in here and maybe catch Bamcop unawares here as he is busy looting uh, his teammate here. But uh, in Yasnaya things are getting a little bit crowded here as. Uh, Awful Squad is all together here in this uh, apartment complex. They are having a 2-2 split here, but they are effectively stopping the two members from uh, BN Power from doing much else here as they have to stay inside that compound and risk being sniped from uh, a, a numerous potential locations that could be occupied by Awful Squad. So Awful Squad playing it nice and carefully here. They try and wait this one out here. Now, uh, Sophia able to escape a little bit from the, the players from Nasi Ayam Sadap here. Um, now, meanwhile, we do see that uh, MBT deciding to already rotate into the north here as they try and loot these compounds here and potentially stop other teams for with their rotation phase here as well. But it does look as though um, Nasi Ayam Sadap has managed to uh, spot the, the players here and uh, K-Byte's able to knock down Loki's here. So Loki's in a bit of trouble here and the rest of the AE could be in for a very short game here as... Um, yeah, there's not too much that can be done here, but Kimbri is uh, close by, but Bamcop is trying to come over here and see whether he can get that final elimination. Again, just playing it really carefully here as they try and move in for the flank. And Kimbri is trying to put some shots on Fleoflux, but Fleoflux able to finish him off and he takes out uh, Battle Arena Elites and they go out in 17th position here.
So now looking back at the, the whole picture, now the blue line is starting to come in. So the, the remaining teams will have to try and uh, rotate in a uh, reasonable amount of time. But uh, it looks as though that just like that, Supak Choi finishes off the last remaining player from uh, BN Power. And uh, luckily they managed to only have one knock in that assault there. Now, they will, Awful Squad will be able to continue on with their looting phase here, but they are uh, inside the circle, so they can still take their time here in this Yasnaya region. I think if the circle didn't cover Yasnaya, they probably would think twice about taking this particular fight here. Now, Geek Fam has finished looting up on the prison side. They have already made that early rotation here. We did see them get it caught out a few times in some of the games here as they tried to make their rotation maybe a little bit too late. Uh, as they do like to go for some of these other more external regions of the map here. Now, looking at how things are developing, the teams are mostly inside the circle already. So now we do see that other teams are deciding to make their rotations in here. Like all the way from Milta Power, Team 15 uh, is stopping by at the mansion all the way inside further. So uh, MSK Poseidon, having bugged out of uh, Pachinki, they have decided to go for Razok, and they pretty much have the whole place to themselves here. And uh, Squad 17, not saying I am Sadap here, they have uh, continued to loot up in this spot here, but ever so cautiously, as they know that they didn't get the final elimination on Frostfire. So Sophia actually having navigated through the dense web of uh, players here from um, the I am Sadap. So he should be okay, but I think he doesn't exactly want to move too far just yet. They, he does have, want to see if they will make a move first, as um, they are inside the zone. Just not ideal, as most of the teams will go for the central region over here. Now, other teams are making their rotations here, as uh, this uh, is becoming very much the rotation highway for all these northern teams here. As uh, we do see here that Ranks is trying to jump out here and shoot uh, I Ikorlia as he's driving past here. Now, the rest of... Um, FFG are moving across the bridge as well, and uh, unfortunately, Rex not able to come up with it more. But does he notice whether or not there are other players coming here? Legendary G7 able to get a knock on and uh, elimination on Aaron, uh, who is a little bit separated from the rest of Infinity Gaming. So, school is really dominated at the moment by Power Ranger. So, Power Ranger just got to stay strong here and uh, think about what they're going to do with their next steps here. Um, they probably wait and see till the next circle reveals itself before they're going to make their rotation because there's only a short amount of time and uh, soon we will have the next play area revealing itself. Now, Geek Fam having uh, solidified themselves in the northern side early here, they do have a couple of compounds and are trying to get a little bit of map control with Madi and Jangs actually quite close to two of the team members from squad number 15. Squad number 15 actually uh, moving in uh, this direction here with a motorbike here, but uh, I'm going to try and shoot him, and uh, Jank's able to nail him with a headshot, so he or Leah going down here, and uh, looks as though that FU is actually uh, taking a lot of hits himself here, as Madi uh, really plasters his uh, vest quite substantially here, and he's left with just a sliver of health left. Now, they should be able to get his team member up, you know, but uh, I think all that fire has started to attract more attention, as we do see that um, squad number 7 FFG is uh, in closer proximity. Now, in the apartment complex, uh, east of uh, school, we see that Infinity has moved in here and uh, so has uh, Power Ranger as they are looking to uh, extend their looting phase here, but they have caught the attention and uh, I think uh, Infinity might be out here for some revenge here. Now, J Madi actually goes down here as uh, Durian actually comes up and uh, able to knock him down, but they get some revenge and knock down Bacon and F FU. So Durian is the only guy left alive here, and uh, he managed to knock down Jangs, but unfortunately he's not enough, and Xavier able to confirm the kill on uh, squad number 15. So next circle has shifted hard uh, northwest, so all the teams are going to have to try and move as fast as possible, but it looks as though MSK decided catching uh, Nobby in rotation here as uh, he runs straight into them as he tries to rotate through Rozok. So a nice little bit of a boost for MSK Poseidon as uh, they look are still four man strong in this game. Now there are others who are making their way over inside the circle and uh, we do see that uh, 
Team Crayons is advancing after they have been ro uh, looting in this particular zone for a while here, but more like taking shots at other rotating teams. But now they will resume in their rotation phase as the this hard shift will force a lot of the teams here. Now these bridges will become a little bit precarious for some of these teams, so it's whether or not they actually want to, to do that. So DJ Lowell scouting out a bit for the rest of MSK Poseidon here, and he notices the presence of squad devils over here at this compound. Not able to land any shots though, so his teammates from Rosov will be aware of uh, what is going on here as they rotate through the bridge over here on the southeastern part of this new circle. Now, Geekfam putting more pressure onto the rotating squads. This time it's going to be Infinity after they bugged out of the apartment complex here as Felberg and uh, Brennan actually is uh, going to be able to get away here as um, Geekfam a little bit too further up on the hill to get any meaningful connections in that exchange. So now you will see that the blue, air, blue zone will be closing in here, but Frosty Sis is left all alone here, so it's whether or not they actually pick up on the fact that he is actually stranded. He is deciding to occupy the tower for the time being, just to try and stay alive as best he can. Now, there is a loot crate here, and MSK did make their rotation from Rozok here, going over those bridges here. So it looks as though Voidless will be the key winner for, for this so we'll have to see what they get. It looks like an M249 here. So a nice boost here in this stage of the game as uh, they try and set up shop here as in the center part of the circle. Now other teams are deciding to also uh, follow the same strategy here. Now there's not a lot of compounds in this northern central side here. Uh, I think there will only be those around like uh, shooting range as well as where Geekfam currently is. Now we do see that Team Crayon has made their way over here. They are going to try and use the vehicles for a little bit of cover, but they do have the trench uh, from the plane crash at their disposal here. So that should be a, a nice boost for them. And uh, now other teams are moving in here, but Geekfam also making their own rotation here as they go past uh, MBT here. As KNY God tries to maneuver as best as he can, Savior is uh, almost with him, you know, as he tries to come back to help. Now KNY God is... Uh, Oh, Jangs is also in in the vicinity as well as they start to get out. And Tyler is putting up a, a lot of shots from the, the high ground here as he tries to fend off this push. Now, KNY God is going to be moving in here um, as the first person through for, for Geek Fam. Now, they are aware of the danger, but uh, they do have the, the support. Tyler deciding to go down. He managed to get the shot on Jangs here. And uh, Aspex comes in and uh, really makes, makes a, a mess of it. But uh, in the but a mess for Geek Fam. So unfortunately, Geek Fam goes out there in 14th position after that. Um, that didn't actually go as well as they had hoped. Now, uh, MSK Poseidon now locked in a battle with um, uh, Crayon, uh, Team Crayon over here. Big Boo Blur getting knocked down. And uh, it does look as though that uh, it is a little bit narrow here, so they won't be able to get a, a good flank off just yet, but they are able to spot the, the retreating DJ Lowell here as he tried to get to some better cover. Now he's taking some fire while still being behind the tree and Insane Floyd able to confirm the kill here. So now it's a 4 on 3 battle here in favor of uh, Team Crayon. So MSK gonna have to lick their wounds a little bit. Now the next circle is quite central. It'll be capturing most of the team. Squad 17, Nasi Ayam Sadab actually opting to stay a little bit further away. And um, we do see that other, other teams are taking their positions. Now they won't want to move substantially here as the center of the circle is already packed and uh, they, they will want to avoid having too many issues uh, in terms of the rotation but we do see here MSK Poseidon after getting out of that battle are deciding to, to bug out of this one as they start moving further along here. Now they have set up shop over here um, which is just above uh, an unoccupied compound at the moment as they try and move in here and get that scouting information as to whether or not they can take that for themselves. now. You see that uh, squad 14 here um, is starting to move in and facing uh, a lot of fire here. So Power Rangers losing Sniper already straight off the bat. X-Probe also going down here and Crescenia is pushing down here and uh, uh, X-Probe actually got getting knocked out by the vehicle here. So Crescenia is going in for the cheeky flank here. Now other teams are coming in here as well and uh, it looks as though squad number 6 could be in for quite the field day here if they're able to spot this uh, rotation coming in here. But they managed to bug out in the, just a second and it looks as though Tyler is getting in on the action. Um, third partying Voidless here as uh, Crescenia actually pushes in towards the compound on his own here. Try and get a, a good flank but his team is in a little bit of a 
uh, Pickle now with only Jingu up there left to help Voidless. So he's in a little bit of a spot, but it looks as though that uh, squad number six has managed to catch um, Nasi Ayam Sadap as they knock down two of the players there. And uh, now Grisenia is just trying to maneuver around here, but there is still a bit of space for um, Power Rangers to get their player up alive. Now we do see that other others are starting to uh, try and adjust their, their rotation uh, just a little bit here. Now Christina getting a glimpse of G7, not enough to, to get the knock there, but he is going to stay quiet here as uh, there is quite a lot of utility coming out from the rest of the, the Power Ranger players here. Now Jingu has managed to revive Voidless here as they come to back up Crisania here as they look to force it into the house here and uh, see whether they can um, take down the rest of the players here as Crisania already with two kills in this game. Still on four here, but Voidless unfortunately gets caught out by G7 here. G7 also goes down though after um, he was already damaged from the M249 and it looks as though that uh, MSK will get through and eliminate po Team Power Rangers. So they managed to keep two of their players alive. They lost DJ Low on the push, unfortunately. Um, so let's see whether or not that will hurt them their chances later in this game. Now, we do see that uh, Team Crayon is in close proximity to Squad 19. Squad 19 is a new team. They're no longer Cracker, so I'm afraid that I'm not too sure who they are. They might be a Thai team, actually. Um, through Crescenia's help to actually uh, get another team in after the first four matches actually finish. Now the next circle is revealing itself. The hole is shifted a little bit south here, avoiding the water because uh, it is the fourth face of the circle here, so you won't usually see uh, too much of that happening um, uh, because the game will prioritize the land over here. Now Sophia is going to see uh, some of the rotations coming in here from squad number 11 levels here, and he does open fire on Frost, but uh, oh, it looks as though that um, Team Crayon has managed to complete their push, but it looks as though Squad 19 might try and take advantage of uh, of that push as they look to third party the situation here. As um, okay, Team Team Crayons is not exactly licking their wounds too much, but they are backing up a little bit here just to as they know that there is the incoming threat from this other team on their east side. Now they are pushing around on the low ground here, uh, hoping that they will expose their, their heads in a silhouette fashion. Um, now other teams are moving their way over here, um, but it looks as though Team Crayon is going to uh, move away from this battle. But they're going to be running straight into squad number 6 here, as uh, Fleo Flux is pretty close, but he's deciding to move his vehicle out a little bit to get a little bit more cover at those rocks. Now, they are also engaged in a long range fight. Live action actually moving down here. Insane Floyd able to knock out Fleo Flux, but k is able to, to deal one back and uh, knocks down live action himself. Um, so, it looks as though that is full fledged battle here. k really um, coming out clutch, knocking down two players here. Bangkok comes up with another one as uh, we do see Rain Zera knocking down Big Blue Blurt. Now, Meltings is all alone here in the rear, and uh, Rain Zera going to try and spot him out, and he manages to catch him. So, Rain Zera getting the last two frags there, and uh, it looks like that is it for our team Crayons. So, now we do see that uh, they do have a little bit of space, but there are other players coming in. Awful Squad is on the way here, squad number 12 on your screen. So, they are moving in on this area of the zone. So, all the players from squad number 6 are a bit injured, but they did not lose a player entirely. So, they should be able to get the res off on Fleo Flux. It's just whether or not they can get the heal off before this pressure comes in. They do have enough utility, and it looks like Sophia actually had fall down damage there. Rather preferring to die than um, succumb to squad number 11's wrath, you know. And uh, it looks as though that uh, they are carefully moving up through the trees here, but they are a little bit exposed. Miko deciding to run the gauntlet here. He goes prone to try and save himself, and he manages to get the knock on Fleo Flux. So, squad number six, a little bit backtracking here as uh, the rest of the players are moving up here. But Bamcop turns around and he manages to knock out one of the players, Dan Pablo, uh, moving along the right side here. And uh, it is a bit narrow uh, for squad number six. They need to start spreading out a little bit here and if they want to try and catch these guys who are moving south of their position here but they're more focused on making sure that they can get Fleo Flux up alive and uh, stay alive but Miko getting uh, finished off here now squad number 19 has uh, has also moved in on the squad number 7 here FFG as they are making things difficult here as they're pushing up the hill uh, as they try to get dominance in the northern side of the circle now 
uh, back 20, also just trying to scope them out, but it does look as though that squad 7, FFG is start, starting to move away here, and uh, so awful squad moving in here, trying to take down squad 6 here, and uh, unfortunately, not able to catch out with it, and Reigns there coming out clutch yet again, and he picks up another double kill uh, in that exchange there. So squad number six looking really strong here and looking to build on uh, that other earlier chicken dinner that they won. Now still keeping up four of their players alive. Bamcop leading the way with uh, five kills to his name. Uh, squad number seven starting to turn around and uh, face the the oncoming might of squad number nineteen here. As God BB gets knocked down here, ranks. Is the furthest person forward here, but a little bit precarious. Now, the next circle doesn't have them inside here. They are all outside the zone here, but it looks as though they're going to get third party or sandwiched by uh, squad number six here. MBT is nicely inside. Um, one of the only like structures that there are available in this particular zone here, as the rest are all very much outside the circle. Now, they are advancing ever so slowly here. OG Philip tosses out the nade here. It might be good here as uh, he looks to advance on their, their positions here, and he does make it good as uh, Bank. Banky 20 actually goes down here. Now the rest are pressing pressing forward after they manage to get secure that knock. But Rens, man, oh, manages to spot lock BB over here and gets the knock here. But he is taking some additional fire and uh, OG Philip now going down as uh, squad number 7 uh, is advancing. And uh, they managed to eliminate squad 19 here. So OG Philip is the only person knocked down. They should be able to get him up. Squad 6 deciding not to third party them as they look to try and get that position inside the circle. Now, in meanwhile, in the southern part of the circle, this is Team Extends here. They are advancing onto squad number 11, Team Devils here, as uh, they are in very close proximity. I don't think that they are aware of them at all. Railgun really coming up for the flank here as he spots uh, NJI and manages to knock him down, but he faces the wrath of uh, Fox Graza here, and he gets knocked down in turn by Pattern a lot. So Pattern a lot uh, trying to advance here as uh, they try and get the last person. And uh, that is it. So Kai will be able to get uh, Charlie G. And uh, that is going to be it for them. Um, MSK deciding to, to move in now. Um, but they are very close to uh, the MBT guys who currently occupy the only compound within the circle here. Now they are all spread out here uh, with... Um, uh, three persons split amongst all three buildings here. There could be something that uh, they would probably want to consolidate a little bit in case one of them gets knocked here. But so far, they're not in any major firefights. But uh, squad number six here uh, looking to engage with the uh, team seven FFG, which is now currently uh, trying to move in here as uh, Fearflux is, is the furthest man forward as he manages to, to see a little bit there and he manages to use that barrel and 762 to the best of his ability and he, he not, he's trying to... Oh yeah, he does manage to knock out uh, Sebi Sor and he's going to confirm the double kill here with that nade but uh, Kukoi is on the edge here and Fearflux puts up some shots but Bangkok finishes him off and uh, looks like that might be it. Oh no, sorry. Pukoi is still up. He is, uh, oh, but he is able to rain down uh, on the rest of the players there. Only knocking out K-Bytes though, and he gets knocked in return. But K-Bytes should be okay if he can get inside the circle. The blue zone damage is super high here as uh, they are trying to do their best, but it looks like uh, they need to get inside the zone themselves. Bangkok taking a lot of damage in that instance there. Now, in the southern part of the circle, it looks like Infinity Gaming is in um, in a fight with uh, Intense, Extense, sorry, from, uh, which is squad number two on your screen. Kai will look for the uh, res here, but Pattern a lot going in for the flank here, able to spot Brennan as well, so he gets a double knockdown there. Now, Frosty Sis is the last player left up for Infinity. He is moving in. He gets a shot on Pattern a lot. Star 98 tries to finish him off with the M16, but not able to do so. He moves back into cover on the smoke here, and uh, unfortunately, his two teammates. Go down here, and he is able to see a lot of players there, but a little bit far with the burst fire on the M16. He deploys the, the grenade, and he tries to make as much of a train with the, the smoke grenades as he can to try and get away, but the Krustic makes short work of him, and that is going to be it for Infinity as they go out in fifth position. Now, there are only four teams left here. There are the three players left alive for six uh, squad number six here. They did lose uh, one of the players, unfortunately, to the blue zone after he was knocked down by the last remaining player of FFG. Now, uh, meanwhile, in the compound here, we do see that Tyler has moved over to Rexon's um, building here as they try and offer uh, as much support to each other as they can 
And uh, currently, they still have MSK Poseidon to the south, uh, who are who have been fairly quiet until now. They are putting out those long range shots onto um, Team Extents, who are still a little bit away. They are just entering the circle here, but. The distance is a little bit too great. It's just going to be a little bit of chip damage here as they try and prevent them from having the, the maximum armor possible into these later stages here. But the blue zone is uh, going to start closing very soon or is moving very slowly, sorry. Um, but these teams are not doing too much here. Bamcop is going to do a little bit of scouting on this southwestern side of the circle here as he lays prone there waiting for the presence of other teams. To come here as he watches the flank here as Rain's Era and Fleoflux is watching across the higher northern side of this circle. But all three players for extents are moving up here, and uh, it could be detrimental uh, if um, they don't spot Bamcock, who's lying prone there in cover. So we have to see what happens there from that. Now, meanwhile, the other teams are deciding not to move here. They do want to want to force the issue unless they really have to. Um, but MSK moving a little bit here. Bamcop has decided to open fire a little bit. As you can see the, the little bits of heads here, but Kai is able to get the headshot on him, and that's going to be it for him. So leaving Fleoflux and Reigns there all alone. But they have 18 kills so far, so that is a, a monstrous round for them, as they, uh, as it does look like the highest kill total for this evening's games here. Now he is trying to spot the other players, and uh, looks like the circle is dead center. Everyone is going to have to move. But especially MBT, who is now in Crescenia's uh, crosshairs here, as he's trying to spot these guys. He gets the shot on Rexen um, with his M24 there. So that's going to take a big chunk of armor out of his vest. And um, Jingu also aware of that. Now it looks as though that uh, the four teams have decided to have their own separate battles on either side of the circle here. As they do not want to get shot as they advance into the circle. And try opting to maybe go a little bit later if they can. Now Rain Zera is trying to spot them but he doesn't see just yet. As it, but he does manage to catch a pattern a lot quite a bit here. But he also gets caught in turn by Kai. Now Fleoflux flanking on the right side here. He gets some shots on Krustic. Um... Just not enough to put it, put it away just yet, but they are in a little bit of a position here as um, Extense is a little bit closer to the zone than them. Now, uh, Krustic still being safe here after uh, using the tree of cover. He is advancing up as fast as he can, but it looks as though Cassania under pressure here as the, the smokes are coming out. As we do see, MBT is starting to retreat, or not retreat, but advance on the position occupied by MSK. Now, MSK is going to have to move together with MBT as the blue line is coming in. Jingu under a lot of pressure here. But, uh, Krasenia, like, trying to people at the top here as he gets the, the knock and Jingu coming up big with that nade. So, that is it for MBT as the two players from MSK managed to eliminate the three from MBT. Now, there's only three teams left here and, uh, it's going to be good for MSK. They do know where the other two teams are, um, who are currently engaging. Thing is, they don't know how many teams are left here so that could be a key factor here but Crescenia uh, has good vision on the two players from from um, squad number six here as Fleoflux takes a, a big hit there Kai SP coming around on the the other side here trying to catch Rain Zera but Rain Zera will be okay here and Pattern a lot able to to get the snipe onto Crescenia but Crescenia going down as well um, and Pattern a lot gets um, knocked down in turn by Jingu now, Kai'Sa SG has finally gone down. Now, Fleoflux is uh, is down, but the, the timing might be just off here as he uh, expires. And unfortunately, that is going to be only Rain Zera left for squad number 6. Crescenia should be uh, res here by Jingu. But uh, there are still two players from uh, Extens here as um, Kai'Sa SG. I'm not sure whether they can get him up or not. Uh, but Krustik is definitely going to try here. But uh, Rain Zera will be advancing on the, the western side of the circle. MSK does have the, the zone, however. Um, albeit they don't have too much cover here. As we can see that they only have uh, the little hill to work with. As Rain Zera is actually on the other side here. But Jingu is able to get him first and gets the headshot with the AK. Now Krustik able to spot Krasenia here. Krasenia doesn't have a helmet anymore. And uh, he gets shot. So I think almost all of his armor is gone here. And his foot is a little bit exposed here. But Krustik not uh, able to see just yet as due to the cover. And uh, the finishing touches on Krasenia. And Krustik 
able to take out Jingu as well. So it looks as though that Team Extense is able to take home the chicken dinner, bringing home 11 kills to their name. But we did see some monstrous uh, killing potential or rather performances in this uh, game as well. And uh, Jingu and Crescenia coming up big for MSK as they survive into the very later stages, getting 9 kills, especially right there at the end where they caught all the MBT guys. Uh, one nade from Jingu able to eliminate two of them while Crescenia took out the last guy. And uh, they were able to move into the circle and try and give it a good go there. But unfortunately, there's a little bit too much from Extents. And um, in third place, we do have uh, squad number six. Now, they managed to get a huge number of kills. They got 18 kills. I think even uh, when we saw Quacker playing earlier, they only managed 17 when they won their chicken dinner. And uh, that was an excellent performance from them. But um, they lost players bit by bit. Um, first, it was, uh, I think it was Bamcop, if not mistaken, uh, to the zone. Or was it K-Bytes? Is one of them. Um, but then Fleoflux and Rain Zero is carrying the torch for them. And uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to save Fleoflux, so Rain's Era had to go at it alone. But he was uh, eliminated by MSK when they caught him coming up the hill. And in fourth place, we have uh, MBT. So MBT getting three kills there. They did have a, the, the compound inside the zone here, but unfortunately wasn't able to uh, exit from the, the compound earlier on as uh, they were sandwiched between the blue zone and MSK. So they met their maker when uh, MSK was able to get that crucial nade, getting the double knockdown. So uh, that was it for them. And uh, yeah, we have Infinity Gaming, which managed to come into fifth place. Fortunately, they ran into a little bit of trouble as they uh, were advancing into later stages. And they will go out in fifth position. So there you have it, folks. That is round number five so before i say goodbye i'll just confirm whether or not is there gonna be another game um so i think it could be the end here so yeah we did have that bonus round we did only intend to do four rounds you know that's why i also had to create a separate stream uh facebook only allows four hours at one time but we've been streaming for well over that now if we add it together so i hope you guys really enjoyed all the games for tonight uh, again i want to say thanks to all the people that helped support um the stream and everything uh big thanks to battle arena as well for organizing the the scrim and letting me cast this as well i really do appreciate it and um i do hope everyone enjoyed the action and is able to follow it all right so um, please do let me know if there's any feedback that you do have in the comments. Uh, very receptive for, uh, for any constructive criticism and things that I can do to improve. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it, guys. Again, thank you so much for all the support, especially all those that uh, shared out the post, those who donated, all those generous stars and, and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be uh, Play of the J. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next scrim. Good night.